That is. Uh, it's 33 rounds of instant pistol ammo. We got a couple of grenades left. Back to the crafting companion being in its place. Don't need the lockpick anymore. Well, I will when I get to the hospital, but that's beside the point. Don't need it now anymore. Let's see. Anything I need to take with me? Nope. Okay. And down we go. It's one of my least favorite cutscene chases of the game. Because he's way up here on the platform and they start him within arm's reach nice. of your back. Come on, you creepy ass stalker! You want stars? I'll give you stars! If I can make the shot. Nope, it's not. He missed somehow. I don't know how that happened, because that was dead on. Yeah. Aggroed and right behind me. It's always good to down Nemesis every time he appears, just to remind him of his place. I could have downed him with the barrel when we came across the uh, street in uh, Uptown. Carlos. Instead of fighting with him, but I preferred to actually just down him with the pistol. Or the knife. But I lost all my extra health doing the sewer because I had a bad sewer run. So I did not uh, did not take the knife. The knife route. I just put him down with a couple clips of handgun ammo. Notice how the game kept giving me his back, which is an ineffective shot, instead of uh, giving me a target. I had to roll three, four times to get a target every time. Yeah. That's pretty lame. Oh, God. I'm definitely burning this place. Now we'll run the sewers. Shouldn't have to use a gun at all. And my controls are dead stick. They all get out. Sometimes you get a uh, RNG, game AI, whatever you want to call it, where they just dead stick you repeatedly when you come down here to the sewer, and for some reason your I'm controls just don't close. respond. Well, I think I've got one of those right now because I just died a minute ago. Let's we'll see what happens.
Okay, and here we are at the sewer. Should be able to run this with the knife. Um, sometimes I seem to hit a RNG or an AI on this game where you just can't get through knife style no matter what. I don't know why. Either it's just my timing is off or the game is just really fighting against me. So we'll see what happens here. Usually I get through it without a hitch. What the fuck was that? That's a dead quitter. One thing I like about playing where you kill everything is you're able to explore everything, you're able to pick up all the items, you're able to have a fun time. And since we're not using any grenade launcher this game, we don't need. This is a Magnum run, handgun, hot dogger, hardcore only. So we'll pick up the stuff that makes life fun. Probably should have stopped and put away a few things, but eh, we got plenty of room. And back up to plenty of goodies for later. The thing about fighting with the handgun, you will burn through a lot of ammo. You can use the handgun here too, shoot them in the knee about three or four times, drop them, kill them with a knife. That's how I used to get through the sewers before I learned how to do this. thing is you try to get by them or roll by them and run by them and everything and sometimes you'll succeed but when you finally figure out how to kill them you can wonder why it was so hard to kill them to start with. Someone say there's one more if you go the other way through the server. Yeah, but we didn't take that route. And I have no reason to take that route because we're not using the grenade launcher. But I have videos up if you go look where we just go through and kill all five for the heck of it. Oh, I missed him. USOB. I've never missed him before. That's interesting. Oh well, we kill him the old fashioned way. Oh, at the door, that's how. beaten up there several times, killing them with a knife or at the other door, right? But you learn. I don't need it. So, let's get rid of that. It's of no use. Let's make some more bang bang good good. Oh, wait, that's special powder, ain't it? Yep. Okay, ignore. They gave me a, an extra, a uh, large powder instead of a regular black powder. More magnum rounds for me. I love it. I've got plenty of bullets for the fight coming up with Nemesis. 
Nemesis actually kills all the zombies here at the bottom of the building when you go through. You don't have to kill them, they still die. But I like to kill them, because we are supposed to kill them. And I don't need to call Carlos every scene. This is one of my favorite fights in the game. See, he'll kill him, so I don't have to worry so much about him. Let's do this. Okay. And technically, if I just hang around... He will kill everything in the bottom of the building with the flamethrower. Just like in the arena fight when he has his zombies roaming around, if you position him correctly by moving around, you'll uh, get Nemesis to kill his own people for your convenience. Make sure. Okay. Nick Nets here. And they're all dead anyway. I gotta get out. Quick. You can also actually engage Nemesis during this fight scene, chase scene, whatever you want to call it. When he's using the flamethrower going through the building. But all you do is temporarily hold him, and the uh, screen actually speeds up and catches up with you anyway. So it doesn't buy you any extra time. And it wastes your ammo. So we run, 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 run. Yeah, I must admit, the fire spreads really well in this building. It goes right at metal, concrete, yeah. It's okay. It's scary. And hey, made the jump successfully. Okay, we're going to stop right here, do a bit.